Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, never seen. Actually, probably you guys have never seen this. Um, this is what it's like. Like, <laughs> what my computer is like every single day. I literally have these just these two windows open. Like, I have a browser on the side, and um, yeah, that's what I do. I basically just farm non-stop every single day. Just really, really hard. And whenever something comes up, I make a video or something like that. If I'm if I'm if I'm home during the day. Um, a lot of times I don't actually play when I'm out, I'm actually just, you know, at home and stuff. But this is my daily update, or not daily, uh, weekly update video. So I actually have a few things I want to talk to you guys about. Um, basically I share things that are happening with my life, what's going on in my channel, and what I plan to do for the rest of the week um, on my channel and with my life. And, you know, because the two things are kind of combined together. Um, so. I pretty much have been spending a lot of my days just farming, like I literally just <laughs> farm non-stop. Um, I got a few guys together on Discord and we started like playing, we, we went back to play, play, uh, played in Seoul, like we, we haven't, um, I don't know, I just, I just got a whole bunch of just, well not a whole bunch, but like a few people together at, on my Discord and we just, we just went back and started playing Blade and Soul because, well, I'm, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking to play some MMOs. I just want to play for fun. Like I'm not make. I'm not. I'm probably not gonna just make videos or anything about them. I'm probably just there to just uh, just play and then maybe quit in two months. Um, but I've been I've been playing uh, I've been playing Monster Super League and Lineage Red Knights for quite a long time. Like well, not quite a long time. Lineage actually just came out like last week. I've been playing. Um, not not quite a long time, but I've been playing for a very very long. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. I've been playing very long. Okay, I've been playing very long every single day. That's that's what I meant to say. And I'm I think I'm progressing okay in in both of them. Um, you know, I kind of after the update for Monster Super League, I'm gonna be on, honest. I've I've been very very tilted. Like I've just been super super tilted that um, every all the efforts I made before to try to try to progress, like there were like half of it was kind of in vain um but i i've recovered from that and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do whatever it takes to to uh to get to the top from there you know i'm never the type of person to to complain about like you know changes in the game or like you know how a game should be because i don't think there's any reason to do that like i don't think there's any point to doing that um it's probably better to focus your efforts on what you can do to combat those changes rather than complain about those changes because the developers of games probably aren't going to aren't going to change anything because some random person on YouTube who who gets like you know 200 views on a video um, <laughs> decides to say something it, it doesn't even matter like you could be some big channel with like you know a million views and you say something about a game like doesn't mean that the developers of a game are going to make any changes to it you know um i'm just i'm just saying this for for myself cuz like i don't if i ever become big in the future like i i don't want to be the type of person who uh who uh uses that like i don't know i guess kind of uses that influence to to uh to 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 change the way games are because I think that that would destroy games. Like that would, that would make games really really bad. Um, but yeah, I I'm I I like I basically I see a problem. I I see something wrong that's going on, and then I I make a few changes and see if it works out. Um, actually, no, I, I test a few theories. I test I test some things, and I I think if um, you know if everything's gonna work out properly, and if it doesn't, then I. You know, I, I basically I could revert back to what I'm doing before, or I can do something different. Um, so I've been doing a lot of theory crafting as well, thinking of like things, ways I can do to progress, and you know, it hasn't it hasn't been working. And um, so I finally decided to to go back and do something that's like safe and 100% like will will work. Um, but yeah, that's that's just a little bit on Monster Super League. For Lineage, I'm actually I'm actually enjoying this game quite a lot. Like I, I've been playing uh, playing really really actively. I think I'm somewhere near the top, like you know top 300 or something in the game currently. Um, it's it's really hard to keep up. Like there's always gonna be people that that like pay a shit ton to be really really strong, and it's gonna it's gonna it's a little bit difficult to keep up with them. 
because well I, I don't think the games exactly pay to win a lot of people um, not not on my YouTube but like on 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 uh, on the Android gaming subreddit because I made a post on the Android gaming subreddit about about this game and a lot of people were complaining about how this game is completely pay to win like how the en energy system the refreshing and everything is completely pay to win I I don't think that's necessarily true because um, because I like it actually takes a lot of work like you have to you have to decide where to go where to farm for certain materials and stuff and it's not like you can buy those materials so you kinda have to um, you kinda have to actively play anyways like every single day in order to keep up it's not I don't think it's necessarily like you know uh, whoever pays more money automatically gets gets further ahead I think it's whoever um, whoever never misses a day like basically just is always does everything he needs to every single day um, will be will be far ahead in this game um, that's just my opinion on on these two games so a little bit more about what I what I'm planning to do a lot of you might have heard that I'm moving to Canada for um, like at the end of this month but um, actually there, there has been a change of plans I'm still gonna be flying to Canada but I'm not going to be staying for too long uh, the original reason that I want I was going to move to Canada was because um, Taiwan has like an ar uh, mandatory like army service that you need to do, and um, my residency isn't in Taiwan. I actually have a Canadian passport. Like I I have two passports. I have a Taiwanese passport and a Canadian passport. Um, in order to avoid being like you know being forced to go and go to the army, um, I can actually say that my residency isn't in Taiwan. And it's actually in in Canada, and I basically um, I've basically only been in Taiwan because of my education. So that's that's what that's kind of the that's kind of the story. Um, you know, I, basically I was in Taiwan for my education, and during the time that I was in school. Um, I, I don't have to go to the army, but now now that I've like recent well not recently but it's, it's been a few months but I I spent my f last few months trying to apply to to, to um, grad school but I I've gra graduated and um, my time limit is up basically and I need to need to leave the country but if I come back again next year like after January first next year my time is reset and I could I can stay for for a little while longer um, so that's basically my plan I'm basically going to leave. Um, Taiwan for about uh, I'm not sure how long exactly I'll stay in Canada I didn't buy a return ticket yet so I'm, I'm gonna do that as well um, it was probably cheaper to do it before but I, I didn't know about this rule I, I didn't know about how this I didn't know about the mechanics of this game all right I didn't know about the mechanics of this game but now that I do I, I have a change of plans I don't know, I think I think my life like what I do in life is very similar to gaming as well like I I identify a mechanic that um, or a rule or something and then I I do it and I play along um, you know according to it you know I, I could complain that you know I'm I was like this is unfair just because I'm born a guy I have to be part of the ar army but you know I, like there's no point doing that you just you just do what you can to get by I think um, anyways there's yeah I think I think that's a pretty good that's a pretty good example of what I was just saying before like I'm not the person that type of person who complains or tries to change the rules of the game I am the type of person who uh, who identifies rules and I play around and uh, you know whatever whatever method I I think like I'm the type of person like if there's an exploit in the game I would exploit the shit out of that um, like any exploit possible I will exploit the living shit out of it and as long as it's your fault like I'm not cheating in the game it's all, as long as it's your fault that you made a broken game I will exploit the shit out of it to uh, <laughs> To, to get ahead um, yeah that's that's pretty much it uh, so I'm gonna be leaving Taiwan for like a week or so and then I'll, I'll be back I'm still gonna be making videos but it's gonna be on my laptop so the quality might not be as good like it might I don't know if it's gonna lag or anything I, I don't think I can stream on my laptop so I, I won't be streaming um, that week I have, actually haven't been streaming the past week I I don't know. Maybe I should. I should probably stream later today. I'll have like three games open. Just do what I'm usually, what I usually uh, am doing, and then like play Blade and Soul at the same time. It's gonna be a, a triple screen, all right. I usually only have a double screen, but this time I'm gonna have a triple screen. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So yeah, I think I think for um, 
for lineage i've been getting a lot of a lot of views lately as well like for the videos that i put out because there's no competition and even if there's competition there's a lot of like the game is not available for a lot of people and it's not available for people in the u.s to to pay and play the game um so i guess a lot of people in the u.s aren't aren't playing the game but i think it definitely will be released in the future if you want to wait for like an na server but right now i'm on the on, i'm on the global server um or maybe in the future when they do release it, it might still be on the global server. Like the, the people in NA might still be on the global server. But right now I'm on the, I'm playing on the global server. Um, so, so yeah, there's there's that. Um, I think I'm probably gonna make a lot more content for this this game. Like just for for the next little while. Like please don't freak out. I'm not I'm not <laughs> quitting Monster Super League. All right. I'm not like. I'm not like transition slowly making a transition and, and quitting the game. Don't 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 freak out. I'm still playing Monster Super League actively and I'm still farming actively. Um, just trying to trying to get some you know, just trying to trying to get my B10 team ready in Monster Super League so I can I can start progressing afterwards. Just gonna gonna use the the free time I have right now to make some content for uh for lineage, I think. Cause I, I think I knew I know I make like some videos like you know review videos or spotlight videos, um, but those videos are kind of for like when I have nothing to do. I'm I'm serious. Like the review videos are literally me opening up a monster and just just talking about that monster. I mean it does kind of work because it's still content, but it's uh I don't know I don't I don't think it's very high quality content in my opinion. I mean I don't think of quality as like you know fine editing or like anything like that I think of quality as just you know it, it brings something to the table um, I guess it kind of still does so you know I definitely won't be stopping those but um, there just hasn't been that much motivation for me to make them I mean I I uh, I don't know I think I think I'm addicted to like playing Blade and Soul right now like even though I'm making this video right now I'm thinking of like going going and playing later I think I'll do it I'll, I'll make a stream and then I'll um, play all three games at the same time. It's what I usually do during the day, anyways. I'm not sure how my computer will handle it because it's it's pretty insane. Like, I have two emulators open, open, and another another game open. Um, just the other day, I was like playing four games at the same time. Like, I had Blade and Soul open. I had I was playing League of Legends. And I was playing these two games at the same time, and like, I had them running, like farming and stuff. And then like I would play on League, and every time I recall home, I would tap back to Blade and Soul, kill a creep. And then um, tab onto um, tab into uh, the lineage, and then um, you know I would click replay on a stage, and then tab back to league, and then I'll be back in lane. It was it was pretty pretty dumb, uh, but it, it was pretty amazing how my computer can still handle that. Anyways, I I think that's that's pretty much everything I wanted to say in this video. Uh, again, please please don't freak out. Like I, it's a strategy. All right, it's a strategy. Like I. Do everything strategically. I don't. I don't just randomly do, do random shit. I think like YouTube. I think I treat YouTube as a game as well. Like I, I identify certain rules and, and certain things that are working, and then I, um, I either try to replicate it or I try to try to improve it or or I tr usually try something new. Like test the waters and see if things are working. Um, I know especially for a small channel channel like me, I. The most important thing is to like bring awareness. Like I need more people to know about my channel in the first place for them to keep watching. I'm still really, really thankful for every everyone that uh, that has stuck by and watched my daily content. Cause um, yeah, cause that's that's like there's no reason for me to do this if you if nobody is watching. Um, but there's there's like a method or something that that's kind of got how I gotten started or. or how I saved my dying channel, like after I quit Summoner's War, my channel has been just dropping in subscribers, and that was to spam content. Like I, I found a new game, Monster Super League, and I just started spamming content, like seven, eight video, um, you know, like seven, six, I don't know, six to nine videos every single day, like just non-stop spamming content, and that's how I, how I, uh, how I uh, got got ahead. I think like even with a lot of other people who are who have already been making content consistently for this game how I I think kind of came out ahead um, you know obviously there are some channels with like a lot more subscribers that um, that I can't you know I can't compete really compete with but I don't think it's a competition it's basically about um, just just awareness like it, it kind of helps each other 
each other because with more people making content for a certain game, it's more likely that other people, like, you know, they're audience based, um, might be shared with yours because, like, they can, they might make um, content for a certain game and then your, your video will pop up on the side on the recommended section and then they will, like, someone will, might click into it and then find your video interesting and become a subscriber, you know. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, also, there's another thing that's kind of been going on. Like, I I don't really, I didn't really want to talk about this, but I think like all the big YouTubers, like I'm pretty sure everyone heard the story of like PewDiePie is gonna delete his channel and stuff. Um, the the change to the the YouTube thing, like how it's like deleting subscribers, I think it's kind of affecting me quite a lot because I had a lot of viewers in the past that like regularly watch my Summoner's War content and a lot of those viewers are still subscribed to me so like they, they might not be watching any of my videos but they're still subscribed but YouTube is like unsubscribing them because they haven't watched my content in a long time um, that's the theory that's that's the theory of what's been actually going on but um, I think it's okay it's just a, it's just really a number like the the subscriber count number doesn't actually matter it's the number of people that are interested in my daily content every single day. That's that's the real, real number. I, I I think like the like when I post like a daily plans and goals video, like the number of people watching that video is probably the most accurate number of, um, you know my my active viewers. I think. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't want you guys to feel like a number. I I like I. I know I, I do things like strategically like I I have a lot of fun making YouTube as well like not just making the videos but like but like um, trying find trying to find ways to to uh, to get ahead on the system you know I think that's a lot of fun as well it's it's kind of like playing a game to me in my in my opinion um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be like I I'm thinking of just like. Uh, just spamming a lot of content for lineage because there's literally no competition right now so I basically I just I just get far ahead and then I cement myself and I, I create like basically like a monopoly or, or something like that for for lineage like anyone that comes and play uh, and makes lineage videos in the future my videos will pop up on the recommended side um, that's that's just kind of my my strategy on this you know oh, that's that's what I do I just <laughs> I just exploit, alright, I just exploit, that's that's what I do. If I if I find a way to exploit, I will exploit. Um, a lot of people might think I'm a dirty, dirty, dirty asshole, but um, that's just what I do, alright? I haven't, I have a Fire Arthur on my defense, and as a hidden unit. That just, that says a lot about me. Um, so anyways, I'll, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. It's been, it's been quite long, it's been 17 minutes. But hopefully, um, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed this too, like just me talking about what I've, what I've been doing. And for people that are maybe like thinking of starting content, I think um, this might serve as a tip as well. Like, if you want to start content, like number one thing to do is just spam, just spam like crazy. Because if you have no, if you have no audience base, you need to build that audience base. And people are more likely to subscribe the mo when they see more channels on your uh, or more videos on your channel, anyways. So I, I think that's a, it's a pretty cool thing to do, anyways. That's, I mean, like, if you if you if you guys are interested in my content, then it, that's a really good thing. If you guys aren't interested, it might drive people away. But I think, uh, if you're not interested in the first place, then like, you know, you're part of the people that that are like YouTube are cutting off um, from my from my channel, anyways. So, I guess I guess it doesn't really, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't have really any negative effects. Like, the more more videos you make, the more. Um, the more likely you are to succeed. It's basically like, um, you know, you 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 have more, uh, I guess, more products. Like if you think about it, it's like you have more product. You're you're trying to sell some stuff, but you just have more products. Like if you if you're a company that only has like one product, um, then everything relies on that one product. But if you're a company that has like multiple pr products that are, that they're selling, then um, it's more likely for you to. Um, you know to sell something you know to sell something rather than you know relying on that one thing and if it does badly then it does really badly but if like one of your products does badly you can just um, you can just uh, you know you have other products that that will do well to, to kind of make up for it so that's kind of my kind of my my uh, my logic based on that
Anyways, that's a lot of ranting. That was a long, long rant. Uh, but hopefully you guys are still here. If you're not here, then whatever. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much. And I'll be making more content um, later today. See you guys in the next video. And peace out.